Hey guys, welcome to Dental Dot Beyond 101. I am Dr. Mihika, and today we're going to be talking about the effects of COVID-19 on oral health. New research is actively being incorporated into both medical and dental literature and establishing a direct link between COVID-19 and oral disease is still in its early phases. But what we are coming around to observe is that this disease has a variety of manifestations and the oral symptoms are just one of the many features of the infection. Now over the last year, we've gained sufficient evidence that the ACE2 receptors or the angiotensin converting enzyme receptors are the primary target sites for COVID-19 virus to attack. The virus attacks these target sites to enter body cells and produce an infection. Now these ACE2 receptors are commonly found along the respiratory tract, which makes sense because COVID-19 is a respiratory disease. But these receptors can also be found elsewhere in the body. In the mouth, these receptors are found in abundance in the salivary glands, the tongue and the tonsils, which makes these tissues particularly susceptible to the virus and its effects. Alright, so now with this background knowledge, let's jump into the different oral symptoms patients with COVID-19 infection have been experiencing. Okay, first up is the loss of taste and the loss of smell. Now, of course, it's one of the most common and the earliest indicators of the disease and is seen in up to 85% of the cases. Now, the mechanism behind the loss of smell is the disruption of certain cells in the nose known as the sustenticular cells, which are supporting cells to the olfactory nerve, which is the nerve responsible for you to smell things. Now, these sustenticular cells are highly rich in ACE2 receptors which makes them one of the first cells to be infected in the body. Now often to taste things properly you have to be able to smell things properly which explains why the loss of smell is associated with the loss of taste. Now apart from this indirect connection to the nose, the taste buds and the tongue also contain lots of ACE2 receptors which explains the effects of the virus on these tissues as well. But luckily, these effects are temporary and about 90% of the patients regain their senses of smell and taste in 2-6 to six months of recovery. Secondly, dry mouth. Now this could be due to a couple of reasons. Firstly, the saliva which wets your mouth is produced by salivary glands. And like I mentioned before, salivary glands are rich in ACE2 receptors. Now this results in a decreased volume and an increased thickness of saliva which does the patient no good. In fact, a reduced and thickened saliva actually increases chances of tooth decay and susceptibility of your mouth to fungal infections. The second reason for a dry mouth could be the persistent mouth breathing associated with the use of a mask which can also dehydrate the oral tissues. Now thirdly, it could also be a side effect to the medications being given for treatment. And fourthly, it could be the fear, anxiety, depression, the stress associated with contracting the virus and recovery can also cause a drop in salivary quantities. So try having lots of water with frequent sips and keep yourself hydrated. Alright, so the third symptom is severe gum disease. Now COVID-19 seems to cause a hyperinflammatory state in the body, as a result of which there are increased levels of inflammatory mediators known as cytokines resulting in a cytokine storm. And gum disease, especially periodontitis, which is a more severe form of gum disease, seems to share a few things in common with the COVID-19 infection. Now periodontitis 2 is an inflammatory disease and the bacteria present in the gums stimulate the body to release inflammatory mediators similar to the one seen in COVID-19, that is the cytokines. This causes an overall increase in cytokine levels in patients with COVID-19 and pre-existing periodontitis, which results in exacerbation of both these conditions. So more bleeding gums, more swollen gums and possibly more bone loss all while battling COVID. In fact, a study recently reported that patients with COVID-19 and pre-existing gum disease were 3.5 times more likely to end up in an ICU, were 4.5 times more likely to need a ventilator, and nine times more likely to die when compared to patients with healthier gums. 
so make sure you keep your mouth as healthy as ever all right next up is oral ulcers and blisters so there have been a few reports of patients with covid19 experiencing ulcers in the mouth or even blisters turning into ulcers now this is because along with the cytokine load there are certain vascular anomalies which produce a disruption in the blood flow resulting in reduced blood supply tissue death necrosis and as a result ulcers in the mouth these ulcers can be found on all surfaces especially the lips the tongue the cheeks the gums the palate now these ulcers are similar to canker sores in appearance and although painful they seem to heal within 10 days without scarring all right next up is the increased incidence of fungal infections and this could be due to the increased incidence of dry mouth and the increased use of inhalational steroids as a treatment measure for covid now steroids often cause an upset in the local immunity and an imbalance in the oral microbial environment which gives these fungal organisms an opportunity to rise in numbers and produce an infection but the benefits of inhalational steroids on improvement of breathing and suppression of the inflammatory state greatly outweigh the side effects so to avoid a fungal buildup try rinsing your mouth after each steroid dose all right number six is covid tongue now there have been a few reports of patients complaining of an enlarged swollen painful tongue tongue ulcers and even the appearance of something known as a geographic tongue now a geographic tongue is a harmless benign inflammatory condition in which certain areas on the tongue surface appear denuded and these areas are irregular in shape and also the shape size and location of these spots keeps on changing each time they appear more like continental drift which explains the name geographic tongue now these denuded spots often appear for brief periods of times and generally do not require treatment let me also mention that a geographic tongue is not exclusive to or is not diagnostic of covid uh, it can be seen in a regular healthy uninfected population as well its appearance during covid could be a result of the cytokine load which stimulates inflammation and also because the tongue has multiple ACE2 receptors. Last but not least, we have cracked teeth. Now, even though it's not directly linked to coronavirus, many dentists have reported a spike in numbers of cracked teeth ever since the start of the pandemic. Now, this could be due to the undeniable increase in stress levels related to health concerns, staying at home all day, job loss, poor working posture, sleep deprivation, and whatnot. Now, when people are stressed, angry, or frustrated, they tend to clench their teeth more, or bite extra hard, or even start to grind their teeth at night. All this increases the load on your teeth, resulting in stress fractures or cracks in them. So make sure you visit your dentist in case you find yourself clenching your teeth or grinding them at night, or even observe cracks or chips on them, or experience pain or sensitivity on biting foods. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys found it informative and useful. And before you leave, I just want to quickly mention that the features we discussed today are not 100% exclusive to or are diagnostic to COVID-19. Just because you may experience some of these symptoms doesn't mean you have coronavirus. So always follow it up with a COVID test to see if you're positive or negative. And in case you're positive, please seek appropriate medical attention immediately. If you have any questions for me, do write them down below and I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my abilities. Until then, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!